Checking your gauge in garter stitch can be a little trickier than in plain stockinette. And that's because in garter stitch, we are knitting all knit stitches. So your right side of your fabric and your wrong side of your fabric look alike. So first thing I do whenever I'm taking a gauge swatch is I do put clip a marker onto the front of my piece or my, what I've designated as the right side. So that helps me keep an accurate uh, count. Now in garter stitch, you'll notice that we have these ridges. That's the hallmark of it. And if you look closely at each ridge, you can see that the ridge is made up of a series of bumps. These upper bumps here make like an upside down U or some people call that a frown. And then the lower U actually, some people call that a smile is the second part of the ridge. So we are going to be counting the bumps as each one as a stitch. It's always best to um, check your gauge over four inches because it gives you a nice large picture um, of your knitting. So we're going to mark off how many of these upside down U's are in four inches. So you'll wanna grab a, a pin and get your ruler and I'm going to put one pin next, right here where zero is on my ruler, next to this first upside down U. So I'm going to put a little pin here, and then I'm going to measure out four inches. And in the same row, grab another pin and put that next to, here was my you there at four inches, or upside down you there. So now I'm just going to count between my two pins how many of these frowns or upside down U's I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So on this swatch, I am getting 18 stitches to four inches. So um, that would be if my gauge asked for that, I would check. If obviously, if I don't have the correct gauge, I need to adjust my needle size to get that. But now we often have to look for the number of rows in four inches, the rows in your piece. Now I cast on more stitches than I thought I would need than the 18, just so you can assess, oh gosh, you know, you want, if your gauge was 18 stitches of four inches, I always cast on several extra just in case I'm off but I very carefully counted um, the number of rows until I got to four inches. So I can mark that off. So I knit to four inches. Now, when you do that though, you don't wanna count your cast on edge. And we also don't, here's my bind off. We don't wanna count the rows in my bind off. Now in, um, garter stitch, each one of these ridges that I was pointing out is actually two rows of knitting. So we're going to count the number of ridges and then we'll multiply that by two. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 ridges. So 19 times two is 38. So for my gauge, I have 18 stitches in four inches and 38 rows. It's um, very common that in garter stitch, you have almost double the number of rows as you have stitches per inch. So that is a gauge in garter stitch. Happy knitting.